Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Well, if you like music, you definitely need to be jamming for a cure, and that's coming up at Fairbanks Park this evening from 6 until midnight. And Lindsay, you're going to be there, right? I absolutely am, and I'll actually be hosting this event to benefit the Wabash Valley affiliate of the Susan G. Komen Organization, and that is the oldest local organization for battling breast cancer. For just $5, you can enjoy four great bands, including Dickie James, Blue Town, Acoustic Dog, and Southland. Now, I'm getting a lot of information from these bands, kind of getting a bit of a script mm -hmm. together, and they sound pretty fantastic a lot. One of the bands have actually been playing together for over 20 years, and we have some band members that are inducted into the Wabash Valley Music Hall of Fame. So this is the real deal here, and Lindsay Monroe will be <laughs> emceeing this event. So come on out, get a chance to see her. You're going to make it so that the weather's awesome, right? Yeah, we're, well, we're hoping. <laughs> and if you head out, there will also be three area food vendors and a beer garden. So bring your lawn chair and your party hat. Get ready to help in breast cancer. <laughs> it's such a fantastic event, and again, it goes on pretty much all night long. If people yeah. don't get in at the beginning, they're going to have plenty of time to be able to catch it all. Yeah, the actual event is 6 to midnight. Mm -hmm. and then each band will play for about an hour and a half. So a pretty long set with a bit of a break in between. So it's just going to be nonstop fun, yep. food and events all for a good cause. And again, we want to make sure that the weather is at least comfortable <laughs> yes. for the bands and for the audiences and for you too. You've got a job yeah. to do. So yeah. what's it looking like? We're looking at just some clouds out there. It looks like the rain's going to hold off, even though those clouds look a bit ominous out there this afternoon. We are looking at Bit of a hazy sunshine. You see a sunshine graphic there, but if you head outside, don't notice it's still pretty gray. Temperatures are rebounding into the 70s right now. We're at 71 degrees. Winds are out of the south around 8 miles per hour, and humidity is still relatively low, so it's not feeling too bad out there. And again, those temperatures do look to remain below average. Here's a look at the bigger picture. What we have going on for today, we have this cluster of showers and storms that are two hour northwest. They're going to continue to sink to the south, and as they do, they're going to be battling some drier air. These showers and storms associated with a warm front that's back to our west, a frontal system that'll make its way closer as we head through our Saturday. This uh, warm front here battling an area of high pressure that's two hour east. I do believe that high pressure is going to try to win out this afternoon, keeping us mainly dry and keeping these showers back to our west as we head into the afternoon. Still, we can, we can time it out on future cast, picking that up about 1 o'clock. Again, you can see the widespread cloud cover will be in place. Here's 2 p.m. Again, a very stray shower. We can't rule that out, although I do believe we remain mainly dry for our afternoon. By 6 p.m., when we're getting ready to kick off jamming for the cure again, just looking at that cloudy sky and going through the evening tonight, I do believe that we stay rain free. That is at least until early Saturday morning when a few more spotty showers look to initiate. For the remainder of our afternoon, though, still looking at a mostly cloudy sky. Temperatures rebounding to about 74 by 1, up to 80 for today's daytime high, and staying relatively mild for this evening as we fall back near 77 through 7 p.m. We have to talk about some storm chances again as that warm front moves in on Saturday. That's when we're going to increase that chance to see showers and storms early in the day. Just a few showers will be around as the initial warm front moves through. That will be followed by several dry hours through your Saturday afternoon. But as we head through 5 p.m. into the evening, that's when we look for the redevelopment of those showers and storms. And some of those storms Saturday evening could be on the strong to severe side. The Storm Prediction Center has the entire Wabash Valley under a slight risk to see those stronger storms and then again on Sunday as a cold front moves through uh, potentially seeing again some stronger storms this time mainly contained to our easternmost county so again a slight risk for tomorrow for everyone let's look at this on future cast picking it back up at eight o'clock this evening here's that warm front that I'm talking about it'll slowly inch its way closer to the valley we could see a few spotty showers along this line early Saturday but again it's going to run into some drier air so by about 11 a.m. already looking for that rain to dissipate there are those dry hours throughout the afternoon all right the redevelopment part here's 9 p.m. so six seven eight o'clock we're going to be dealing with a very unstable air mass Temperatures get back into the upper 80s for your Saturday afternoon on the back side of that warm front. So that's going to be good development for the showers and storms. 
mainly Saturday evening into early Sunday morning through the overnight. And that's when you look for that best chance to see some of those stronger storms, potentially some damaging wind gusts and some heavy rain as well. Going through the day on Sunday, that's when that cold front will pass through. There's 7 a.m. going to the early morning hours on Sunday. Again, we could see some stronger storms there, but beyond that, we get in on several dry hours for your Sunday and then some cooler air roller coaster trends back downward. So for today, looking for a mostly cloudy sky, a tad warmer as we get back near 80 and then for your seven day forecast this weekend. Again, several dry hours on Saturday. That best chance to see rain and storms Saturday night into Sunday, followed by some cooler air to kick off next week.